Hi, second grade. Today we are going to be talking about arrays and repeated addition. And this helps you start to understand the foundations of learning multiplication for third grade. At the end of this lesson, I want second graders to be able to say, I can write a repeated addition problem to determine the number of objects in an array. Right now, you might be wondering, what is a repeated addition problem and what is an array? Well, we're gonna learn that today. So first, what is an array? Arrays are objects that are put into rows and columns. We have our array right here that is made of the object cupcakes. And you can see our columns and our rows. Now a column goes up and down. When you think of a column, you can think of pillars, like the pillars on the White House. Or you can think of it as yourself when you stand up straight and put your arms in the air. You are making yourself into a column that goes up and down. Arrays are also made up of rows. A row goes side to side, like these chairs, or maybe chairs in a movie theater or at a concert. You can also think of rows, like when you lay down to go to bed at night, you're putting your body in a row, or we plant corn in rows in Iowa. Now, how do we write a repeated addition problem? We already know that arrays are objects that are put into rows and columns. We write repeated addition problems to determine the number of objects in an array. So I know that this is an array, an array, but I wanna know how many cupcakes I have. How am I gonna do that? Well, one way we can do that is to add all the objects together in each row. So I have three rows right here. Can you count how many cupcakes I have in each row? I have four cupcakes in each row. So when I write my repeated addition problem for the rows, it will be four plus four plus four equals 12 total cupcakes. Another way we can write a repeated addition problem is to look at the columns and add all the objects together that are in each column. So I have four columns here and I have three cupcakes in each column. So together I'm gonna add three plus three plus three plus three, which also equals 12. The number of cupcakes in my array didn't change. Only my repeated addition problem did. Both four plus four plus four and three plus three plus three are repeated addition problems that represent the number of cupcakes in this array. Now let's practice some on our own. I hope you have a whiteboard or a piece of paper ready to write some things down. How many stars are in each column? How many stars are in each row? I'm gonna give you a second to think about this. For some help, remember, a column goes up and down, and we have three stars in each column. A row goes side to side, and we have five stars in each column. I hope you got the same answer as me. Now, can you write a repeated addition problem for the array, remember, you can either add columns together or rows together. Pause the video and give it a try. Perhaps this can help. Three, three, three. Here's what I got. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three that was adding my columns together equals 15, or five plus five plus five equals 15. That was adding my rows. Both of those are repeated addition problems for the array. Let's try another one. 
how many hearts are in each column? How many hearts are in each row? I'm gonna give you a second to think about this so you can pause the video. I knew that there were four hearts in each column and two hearts in each row. Now, can you write a repeated addition problem for the array? Pause the video and give it a try. Perhaps this hint will help. Here's what I got. Four plus four equals eight, and two plus two plus two plus two also equals eight. The four plus four, I added my columns together, and the two plus two plus two plus two, I added my rows. Both show repeated addition problems for the array. Now, can you make your own array and write a repeated addition problem for it? Give it a try on your own piece of paper and pause the video. I hope you created a really cool array. Here's what I made. I made an array of suns. I have three suns in each column and three suns in each row. That calls for a different repeated addition problem. I don't have two separate repeated addition problems because no matter if I add the columns together, three plus three plus three, or the rows, three plus three plus three, I'm gonna have the same problem and the same answer of nine total suns. Remember, arrays are objects put into rows and columns. To add all the objects together in each row or column to write a repeated addition problem. I can't wait to see what you learn this week while you're exploring arrays and I look forward to seeing your work.